Hi, good morning everyone. Thank you for coming back to join me. Um, I'm just wanting to continue and try and finish off my little bunny envelope tab journal or tab booklet. Um, it's only a small project, so it's not, you know, like a big journal. Um, if you watched my last video, we put three of the envelopes together and we've decorated them. Um, we put closures on them and I've made some little pockets and I just thought I'd bring you along um, with me to try and finish it off. It seems that you liked this. Um, I know I do. These um, images of Brigida's and that's from Clear Black Creations are just gorgeous. So what have I done since you were with me last time? I've tried to be organised so I can get it finished. Um, the little booklets that we made, we did two. So we've got the couple with the children that have bought the water mill and they're very proudly standing in front of it. And I think, I'm not sure at the back there, it might be a church at the back of the water mill. So they're off to church dressed up for Sunday best. So that's where they're going. And then this one, we've got the young couple where he's actually proposing to her. So he's a sheep farmer. He's got lots of his sheep and they're all watching on um, as he proposes to his lady love. So that's what's happening in those two. And all that I've done with these is I've just added a few pages. I haven't added many because obviously I don't want it to be too bulky. It's only going in an envelope. So what have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That one flaps down. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So altogether, there's 24 sides in that one. I haven't put anything on the back. But what I thought I might do is include a couple of the smaller images um, with this so that they could, these can be decorated up a little bit more as well. So we did that one and then this one um, with the couple that have just bought the water mill off to church. Um, it's got the same number in so that's got six sheets in which gives um, 12 and some of them flip down and things as well. So they're going in a couple of the envelopes. So where can I put them? I'm going to put them there. I made a tag to go in one of them and in one of the envelopes um, and I want to back it did I make two tags I'm not sure that I did I, you can see I'm in a bit of a pickle let's get these bits and pieces out the way um, the um, these papers that I showed you and these I think I said they were from the uh, I think it's oh, my brain switched off again. I linked it below in the previous one and I will link it below as well. Um, the, the name of it escapes me. It was on the tip of my tongue for a minute then and then it's it's gone. It's completely gone. So they're all the little images that I've got left. I'm going to put them in there so I don't lose them. I've kind of thought about what sort of... Um, What sort of images I want to use and how I want to do it and haven't got a clue what I was doing now which is typical for me oh I think this was the other journal card so let's put the other journal card together so on this image or oh, let me get the book one moment a couple of people have asked what book I was using and this was a Victorian country album the photographer the, sorry, a Victorian country album the photographs of Joseph Gale and I got this in a charity shop for one pound fifty um, and it's just full of beautiful I bet when I'm turning these pages the camera's going out of focus so it's full of lovely images and it's got the, the description of what it is so it's got those all the way through. So it is a stunning book to use for the images if anyone's interested. And as I say, um, I got it for one fifty in a local charity shop. I always have a look just to see what they've got. So this is one of the larger ones that I've cut down and it's got a lady spinning wool. Yep, she's spinning and it's up in Scotland in one of the little houses. Oh, they're not called houses. I can't think what they're called. No, I can't remember. But this, this lady and her little daughter live in this cottage and they're just going to walk down the village to get some supplies. They've run out of food and they're just going to get them. Or they could be going to church because it looks like she's got Sunday best on. I think actually it's the market in the local village or the local town where they live. So they've dressed up to go to market to buy what they need. 
So that's where they're going. Off to market. And I'm sorry, lovely lady, but I'm going to cover you up because mummy and baby rabbit. You can just, if I do that, you can just see the spinning wheel at the side of them. So they're not having a day of spinning today. They're off to the market. And they stand out nicely on that. So these I'm going to stitch onto um, coffee dyed paper. Oops. And they're going to go into a couple of the envelopes. So put that one on there. And this lady is going on there. her up to the edge if I can. I don't know if I want a label on her or not. There's my little labels. I don't want to put something big on it, do I? I don't want it to say AD 1839. That one might stand up. Yes, I'm going to put that one on there. I don't know if I've used that one already or not. So if I have, you'll just have to forgive me. I don't know what I've used and what I haven't. But that can go up there. Right, I'm just going to stitch around these. I'll be one minute. OK, I'm back. Um, so I've just stitched around these. I'm just going to trim off the paper. I'm only trimming it off along the sides because I'm going to fold the paper up so that there's a little bit more journaling space on these. Because as I say, it's not it's not a full blown journal that I'm making. It's just a I don't know what you'd call it a little fun tab envelope. So I'm just going to fold that back on itself. And then that one, so that will fit inside the one of the envelopes. And then do the same with this one. I think I quite enjoy, when I've done a big, you know, I've done a full um, journal, I do quite enjoy doing a project that gets finished quicker um, and makes me smile. So when Brigida asked if I'd like to have a go with her bunny um, kit, I thought, yes, please. It's just it's just a bit of fun, isn't it, sometimes? Well, hopefully, journal making is, is all fun. It's not supposed to be a chore, is it? It's supposed to be enjoyable. So that just gives us extra journaling space on those. You can cut it off if you don't want the extra. It's not a problem, is it? I'm just going to trim that so it's not sticking out the top and at the bottom. I find sometimes when you tea dye paper, it goes completely out of shape, doesn't it? Which I'm not surprised because you've soaked it in a wet liquid. Not that you get dry liquids, do you? <laughs> Nana no, no, Carol. Right, we've got the last envelope as well. Oh, the other thing that I did was I've lined all of the envelopes with a piece of um, dictionary paper. So they bought French Dictionary. So I just wanted to add a little bit of stability, I suppose, into them. I didn't because it's going to be opened and closed. I just thought it would strengthen it a bit. I don't know if it will. Um, so this one, look, we've got a gentleman there with his um, horses and is letting them have a drink. So that is going to be a pocket on the back. I thought that was very pretty. So that's going on there. I wanted to put a piece of paper on there and then this is the gentleman who owns the horses now he's been taking his products to um, the village or to the town for the local fair for those ladies to buy and he's just letting his horses have a drink and it's not far from home because that's where he lives 
So that's going to go on there. I think sometimes you have to make a little story up for what you're doing, don't you? I think I do sometimes because then it makes a bit more sense to me. So that's going to go on there like that. For no reason other than I like the effect of it. And I have got a date for him. And I think that's going to go down at the bottom. I'm going to put it on there. And my paper is gluey already. Now I've got my dog in here with me because it's early morning. Well, it's mid, what time is it? 10 past nine in the morning. And in the mornings, the sun comes into this room. And so that's where you can always find her. She follows the sun around the house all day. So I'm disturbing her at the moment. She keeps looking at me because I'm talking. So she thinks I'm talking to her probably. So if you hear her snoring, she snores when she's awake, never mind when she's asleep. There we go. There it is. I was just looking for that. So that's that gentleman there. Too cool. Love it. Very cute. These images are just so cute. And then I want to put that on the back there as a pocket. I'm just looking for my glue. I've put it away. Who knew? Who knew Carol could tidy up? Let's close that flap at the top. Sorry, I'm just looking at the image again because I like it. <laughs> oh dear. I filled this glue up so don't squeeze too hard, Carol, because it oozes out when it's when it's freshly in the bottle. There we go. So I'm trying to clear my desk of things because my friend Amy, that's Amy at Crafty Cat, and I are going to work in tandem on her entirely bonkers kit, which is her Alice in Wonderland kit. So we are both got the kit and we're both going to make a journal um, and do the videos. So I think we're starting that on the Monday. So I need to be I need to be completely cleared of everything by Monday so that I can think what I'm doing. Right, so to attach this last one, if you remember, on the first one we put one, two, three tabs. And those three attached to number two. On number two we put two tabs. And on number three we put three tabs. On number four we don't need to put any tabs because it's the last one. It's very sticky. And we're going to attach those three. One, two, three. That works fine. Just trying to line them up. I've got my window open because it's a sunny it's a nice spring morning. We are now officially in spring here in the UK. It's very windy, but the sun is shining and it just makes your heart sing, doesn't it, when the sun shines? It does mine anyway. That's one, two and three. I can. Um, I need to try and remember. I, don't, I think I forgot on my last video, just thinking about it. I will link... Um, the video that I've done making a big tab journal using this method um, so that you can have a look at that. One, two, three, four. Perfect. So I'm really happy with those. So what do we need now? We need, so let's have a look. In this one, we're going to have a booklet. So the bunny family are going in that one. In this one, we're going to have a journal card. So Mr. Bunny with his deer farm can go in that one. So in this one, again, I'm going to, I'm alternating what's a thicker and a thinner. So this one's going to have the other booklet. So Mr. Bunny, the sheep farmer proposing to his girlfriend, I wonder if she fancies life on a sheep farm. I can go in that one. 
and I can actually close those can't I because they've now got what they need in them one two three and this last one that we did the, the lady that lives in this croft with her little daughter and they're off to the market to get supper for her husband and that's before she starts spinning again so that's got that journaling card in there so they're all you can see then it it does fill out and become quite chunky but it feels nice and because we left a little bit of a gap it can expand that little bit so what we need to do now is put some journal cards in the back pockets don't we now I have thought about what I want to do but I think I've got them all a bit confused now this little girl this lady she's going off selling her um, flowers at market and she's meeting up with her little friend now I think I wanted to put that in there but I've done it too big no it's this lady she's meeting I know I'd, I'd sort of got them ordered as to how I want them or I thought I had I think I've confused myself I think she was going to go in there Yep, she does fit in there. And then I think they were going in there because this family are off to visit Grandma and she's waiting on the street for them. So that one is going in there. That's what I was doing. So we'll do those two first. I think I might put that on there. Sorry, I don't know if I'm even in screen. Sorry, I'm busy looking at what I'm doing and not looking at the camera under my nose. So let's put that on there. Like that. And that's May 20th. Yeah, put that on there. Just make sure it's sticked. That's that one. And then these people, this family. I don't think. That says 1932. Just going to cut that a little bit smaller, just a tad. And of course, when I do that, it's no longer straight at all. That's okay. Wonky label. So they don't see Grandma very often because she lives in another village and they can't afford the horse and cart. I'm just wondering if I could back it in this. You could still write on that, couldn't you? So I think I will. Brigida's papers are just so pretty. I'm going to stick that on there, stitch around that. And if I do put that on that one, you get, oh, that's okay. And that's those two done, isn't it? Right, I'm just going to stitch around these and I'll be straight back. Okay, so that took me longer than I thought because I ran out of thread on my bobbin and then it got all tangled up and oh, sewing catastrophe happened. And of course, because I've got you on pause while I do it, I'm panicking, thinking how long does the camera stay on pause for? Oh, yes, it's still working. And then my heart just stopped because I looked and I couldn't see the clock timer going. <laughs> oh, you know, it's very stressful doing videos. I don't find it an easy thing to do at all. Oh, dear, not at all at all. But I do enjoy being with you all. And you are just so supportive. And I think, you know, crafting can be 
well, I'll say lonely because you stand in your craft room and craft. I and mean, my husband says that I can be up here all day. And to me, well, time flies when I'm up here. I feel as if I've only been doing something for just a minute. It does get less. I tend to do more crafting in the winter because what else? You know, you can't go out and do your gardening and go for walks and things when it's chucking it down with rain. <laughs> the dog's snoring away. So that's the lady. She's meeting her friend and they're going to sell flowers on the market stall. So that goes in there. And here's the others. There's Grandma. And she's waiting for the visit after church from her son and daughter-in-law. And I think they're going to go on a picnic. She's all ready to take them on a picnic. I know it's got a different date on, but it's not real, is it? We can mix the dates up, can't we? She was born in 1892 and it's 1932 that her son's come in. How's that? So that just fits in there like that. So that's those two done. So we need a pocket here. A pocket. We've got two pockets. Pocket there and a pocket there. Now I was going to do one on one and one on the other. Right, so that one goes in there. And I'm going to put this lady in there because he's walking to her. And I think he's got ideas of marriage in his little head as well. So he's thinking he might like to marry this lady bunny. I don't know if she fancies him as well. Oh, everything's just collapsed. So there's lots of weddings going on with these little bunnies. She's there picking her flowers, minding her own business, and he's he's eyed her up and seen her and is thinking, aye aye. There's a likely looking lady lass. I'm losing everything. Squid make sure that's squidged down. Now I was thinking to put a little bit of this along here just to decorate round that edge. But I need though that bit. I don't want it to have much, do I? So I'm just gonna cut if I could find a pencil, excuse me, leaving folks. I'm gonna cut a little bit off and see what we think. Because I might not like it when I've got it on. Isn't that always the way? Because I only want a little bit. So this is just the lace that's off. Oh gosh, off this piece. And it was just, I just fussy cut it off of it. Oh dear, I can never find my scissors when I need them. So I thought that I could just put that on there. And I think that I will. I think that I will. Just for a bit of decoration on there. Everything's getting sticky stucked. Now this is what was left over from when I made the envelope. So it's backed in music paper. So I don't need to back that in anything. But I will stitch round the edge. But that will go in there. So he's looking for his lady love. So I like that one. And then the last one. is going in here. Does that fit? It does. And for that one, I've got this little bunny family. Now they need to um, buy a horse and he might be selling it. So he's on his way for, to look for them. And I'm thinking I might, let's cut the bottom off that. Snip the bottom off of it. 
we're nearly there folks I thought I'd put that on there and that on there yeah I like that so let's get that glued on my glue stick collapsed and it's just knocked a whole load of papers down with it but after this I can have a really good clean out that's something else I like to do at the end of a project is just get everything cleared away that you've been using and a clear desk ready for your next project. So I will stitch around these. I usually do stitch around all of my tags. I like to try and make sure that everything's nice and secure and not going to fall apart. Oh, do you know, I thought I'd miss them then. But now I can't put them on until I've done that other bit, could I? So making sure this glue goes all the way to the edges. Out there. That'll do. I like that on there. So maybe this couple live in that house, that one there. Will that fit in? It will. And it is going all the way to the end. Sometimes you just need to just make sure that your pocket's not closed up I can just feel where that rule is going to so I know that it's not right I'm just going to stitch around these two one minute okay I've stitched around those just go around the edges sometimes I don't mind seeing the white so they're backed in the music paper Oh, I put the little ladybug on her as well. So she's, let's see, they are going in that pocket. Do I want to put a bit more glue there? No, I don't think I do. That's got one. Oh, it's this pocket, isn't it? And she's going in there. So that, you can see how much it's filled out, look. So you can leave a bigger space here if you want to. Um... And sometimes I have put some papers in the middle that bulks it out even more. But if you're going to do that, you better put in some papers where there's three, um, three tabs, because then you can tie them at the top and the bottom. So I could add some papers to it, but if I was going to do that, I think I should have left a bit, little bit more of a space. So I don't know. I might think about that. So tying it up wise, I haven't got a lot of sari. Oh, and don't it drive you potty when it just fluffs and floofs all the time. So what would it be like tied in that? That's where the next knot is. Look. Are we on? We are. Do you know, I'm panicking today that I've switched you off and you've, I've not switched you back on again. Oh my, good night. I'm going to have this stuck to me for the rest of the day. Right. So if I've got enough there to tie it, I could wrap it round twice and tie it here. There we are. That looks quite pretty, actually, doesn't it? What do you think? I am really pleased with that. I don't know what to do with it yet. Um, I may I may think about doing a giveaway. I don't know. Um, I'm nervous doing giveaways because you tend to get people all of a sudden start commenting and watching just because you're doing a giveaway. And if I was going to do a giveaway, I'd want it to be for those of you that are with me all the time, if you know what I mean. Does that sound mean of me? probably right so we've got four envelopes 
that we've put in a little flip there's a little booklet here I, I don't know if you could even sell anything like this I don't know if it's something anyone would be interested in who knows um, there's a little tag back there there's the little journal card in there We've got the journal card in there. Little does she know that he's looking for her. She'll either be thrilled or panicked, won't she? We've got the other little booklet in there. We've got the journal card in that one there. And this one had the last little journal card in there. So I could decorate this a little bit more. Um, I may consider putting a few papers in. I don't know. Oh, and the little journal card there. But I'm really happy with it. And I think for a quick project, um, I mean, I've done two videos. You can see that I did prep and make these envelopes first, but they don't take that long to make. You know, you can make them in an hour, a couple of hours. Once you've made one and you know the size that you want the next ones to be, it's not so slow. Um, but I think that's turned out a really nice project and I'm really happy with it. I hope you like it. I really thank you for joining me on my junk journal journey um, and I hope to catch you soon. Take care, everybody. Bye bye.